What up, y'all? You know who it is, your boy Kiss. Right now, you checking out the three point conversion. <laughs> It was a it was a beautiful uh, I'll call it ending to this last week and the build up to getting this number and it was a special atmosphere. I knew the garden would deliver in terms of just how iconic this place is, but I really I can't say it enough. I appreciate so much the way the fans uh, embraced the moment with me and let me just kind of get lost in it and. Um, I could feel it once I went, you know, took the the shot on the, on the wing and it felt good, looked good in the wind. It felt like we were at home. Um, and I didn't really realize that we were going to foul and that there was going to be a timeout and all that. It was just um, a special moment for sure that I appreciate and I'll remember for the rest of my life in terms of what it means to me to, to, to pass Ray, a, a guy, him and Reggie and guys I looked up to coming into the game. So definitely special. It, it uh, definitely exceeded it. It was, I talked to Ray last week and he mentioned just make it your own, like no right way, wrong way to celebrate. It's it's just what you know how you feel that moment, and that's exactly what happened. I'm sure as uh, days go on, I'll I'll kind of go back to that moment and, and relive the emotions of it because it was it was like that. It was it was really really awesome. So I uh, <clears throat> if you can't do it at home, this is definitely a, a great plan B. <laughs> This is something I've been dreaming about. I mean, I don't know when the first dream happened, but I love to shoot the ball. It's something I've been doing since I was you know, three years old. And when you kind of go through the ranks, um, you, know, you, you love the work that you put in and you love the, the results that come from it. But it, what I told them, it's been an amazing journey of being a warrior for you know these 12 and a half years and all the guys that have set screens for me that have passed from the ball that have bought into the system that you know creates that beautiful warriors you know style and brand of basketball all that plays into this moment so i hope that they uh, appreciate it as much as i do um obviously i gotta put the ball in the basket but it doesn't work without you know everybody that's been a part of this journey so i'll i hope they I, i'm glad that you know they mentioned mentioned you know that and, and just the the memories that we have along the line of you know big shots big moments amazing wins along the way and then tonight everybody who's in this building can hopefully tell stories for a long time i haven't checked my phone uh it's actually buzzing in my pocket right now so i got a lot of people to catch up to but his jersey was in the locker room um, next to mine, and, you know, it would be good to get back and, and celebrate with him and then obviously celebrate his return hopefully soon. But, um, yeah, I represent both the Splash Brothers and, and how we uh, approach the game for sure. I kind of just want to let it come to me because I, it was crazy. I, uh, I made the first one on a transition, <clears throat> and like the next, I don't know, two or three possessions, 
I got the ball coming down and I could see everybody on that end of the stadium just start to slowly stand up and there was like a buzz. So I didn't want to like rush it because I knew that's when you can kind of get in your head trying to like force the moment. And the way that it happened, you know, Wiggs came off a of screen. I kind of floated back to three point. I didn't think I was getting the ball and he hit me. And it was just exactly what the commercial said. I thought about nothing. I just let it go. And then after that, the emotion started kicking. So I just wanted to let it come. And um, yeah, it was a pretty, it's a pretty special moment. Like I shot it, I backtrack. I saw my pops over on the side. Saw my teammates going crazy. Felt the whole buzz of the whole arena. So it was special. I think everybody talks about what the greatest shooter ever and all that conversation. And, you know, my respect for Reggie and Ray, guys who set the bar for what it meant to be a sharpshooter, to have the longevity as well. Um, and for me, I've tried to own that in my journey in terms of, you know, range, volume, efficiency. All those things go into it. So I pride myself on shooting a high percentage. I pride myself on allowing that to help us win games. And now I can pride myself on the longevity of getting to that number that, that Ray set and hopefully pushing it to a number that nobody can reach. We'll see what happens. But um, that's something that the balance of volume and, uh, and efficiency for me is the standard that I wanted to set. And, I never want to call myself the greatest shooter until I got this record. So I'm comfortable saying that now. <laughs> no, I just, now that I got past that hump, I can just let it fly and see how far I can push it. And wherever it is when I'm done playing, I mean, hopefully that's not anytime soon. So, um, it helps to just, you know, like I said, this moment was something I was just looking forward to because you never know when it's going to happen. And there's no, no better scenario to have Ray in the building, have Reggie on the call, have, you know, my family here. It was, it was awesome. <laughs> and we run that play a lot. And I've, that's the first time I think he's ever made that pass. So, um, very unselfish play by him right there. No, I, I, I mean, I remember watching Reggie, I mean, uh, watching Ray pass Reggie's record and he hit it, play kept going on. I think there was a foul and then the crowd went nuts. He went over and hugged Reg and, uh, and then they went to a timeout and then the PA announcer went and announced the record and all that. And he went back over to talk to Reg, saw his family, his mom, his wife and all that. So I figured that that would be kind of the vibe, and especially on the road. Um, but the way that the crowd kind of got into it, and just that moment, I don't know how long it was in real time, but it felt like an eternity. And then got a little, you know, extra juice coming out of that that moment just to go play basketball and have fun again. Uh, no, <laughs> no, I'll, 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 I'll try to get back to this moment tonight and really relive that over and over and over again. It's one of the longest weeks ever. <laughs> A lot of times over the years, the time has caught you when you run the go, the ball is going in and it leaves your hands. Did you know on that one? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, everything was in rhythm. I mean, it could surprise you and miss, but it felt good. And I was already kind of backpedaling a little bit. And like I said, I don't really think about nothing when you shoot, you just let it go. And I got to, I got to, you know, have that celebration, let all that uh, emotion out right after I saw it go in. I know they talked about, I mean, first, I know I'm blessed to have, you know, overcome early career injuries and all that type of stuff and, and been able to experience a lot in this game already and know I want to experience a lot more. Um, but I, the bar that was set by Ray 
and the fact that I could get there in the amount of games that I did and shoot the percentage that I did. And that's something I'm really proud of because um, all the work that goes into it and just the belief that you can continue to get better every single year. So, um, yeah, that's something I don't know, like the record is, is, is special and we'll see how far I can push it. But the combination of both of those things and how quickly it happened um, and me just owning that journey myself like that that's special um so i appreciate that last one yeah i knew where you're sitting um i actually didn't know that i was gonna get the actual ball like right then <laughs> um but uh he's gonna get it eventually so that was that was special Got that, baby. <laughs>